when I'm training virtual assistants on how to build their business, one of the questions that comes up is, should I specialize? So what's the difference between a specialist and a generalist? So a generalist, as a virtual assistant, works on a wide range of tasks. You might do everything from social media to article writing to helping their customers, doing support, just a ton of different tasks you could be doing. A specialist might pick even just as small as one, but maybe one to four, one to three areas and specializes in those. So some examples of specialists might include a real estate virtual assistant who helps realtors, uh, helps them with building their client list, with keeping in touch with everybody, helps them with putting their paperwork together, helps them with marketing. An Amazon VA, which helps people who want to get published on Amazon. A medical VA for people working in you know, medical clinics who need help. Or a Facebook VA uh, who might want somebody to help them with marketing on Facebook. And these are just a few examples. So there's tons of others out there as well. But these are just some example uh, specialist VAs. So what's the benefit of just being a generalist? So the benefit there is you have a wide range of services you can earn from. Everything from bookkeeping to marketing to office administration type work to customer support. There's just tons of different uh, services you can earn money from. But there's benefits to being a specialist too. So being a specialist means you have less skills to master. So as an example, if you're really only focused on two or three things, you can get better at them and maybe have a deeper uh, skill level, be better at it than a virtual assistant who's trying to do everything for everybody. Another benefit is it can be easier to reach your target audience. When I click on my keyword research I did here, you'll see that Amazon Virtual Assistant has 5,000 people a month searching for them, and only is a difficulty level, meaning how hard it is to get top ranking in Google, of 17 out of 100, which is quite, which isn't bad. Real Estate Virtual Assistant has difficulty level 30 out of 100 with 2,700 people searching, and a Medical Virtual Assistant has 810 people uh, searching every month with a difficulty level of 16. So you can see that by narrowing down your niche, it can be easier to reach your target audience. Also, your messaging can be better connected. The copywriting that you do for your um, particular to audience there can be more specific. So you can write a marketing message specifically to authors. So you can say, are you an author wanting to reach the largest audience in the world? I will help you get published on Amazon. I will help you drive traffic to your Amazon page. I will provide you with tracking. So you can provide those, you know, better, a stronger message rather than just saying, I help you with this, I help you with that, I help you with everything. Over time, as you're building, uh, you can make contacts in that field, for, such as the publishing industry that I talked about, but other suppliers in the field. You might uh, form strategic alliances with people who might do book covers, people who might do uh, book marketing, people who might do uh, going to book trade shows. So you're oh, going to be building those connections over time. And this is really powerful. If you're specializing in a certain area, you've got the ability to create specialized systems and templates. I'm reminded of the example of real estate webmasters who are headquartered in the, my old town, city I used to live in of Nanaimo, British Columbia, Canada. And I'm sure when he first started out, he could do all webs, all sorts of websites. But instead, the founder decided to focus on creating systems for real estate agents and real estate firms. And Real Estate Webmasters is now a multi-million dollar company and he's buying his own buildings in downtown Nanaimo. So he's been very successful by specializing. And you get to do premium pricing because you are specifically an expert in publishing on Amazon or an expert in copywriting or an expert in Facebook marketing programs. You can command a higher price for that. So overall, I think specializing has Real benefits, uh, you know, extra premium pricing, being able to create systems for it, connecting to the industry, uh, being able to reach your target audience easier, being able to get strong messaging to your target audience, and overall, less skills to master. You're better off mastering one or one or two skills than, than being a kind of a jack of all trades. 
So that's my information. If you'd like more virtual assistant help and training, uh, visit our website at vamentors.com. And we have tons more training for you there. For those of you who are curious, the mind map system I'm using here is called MindMeister, which is my new favorite. And if you'd like more information about MindMaster, I'll put a link down below along with a coupon code to uh, get you 10% off your first payment. Thanks so much for listening. Please hit the like and subscribe button to show me you like this video and to encourage me to create more like this.